Oh my god. Why is there one photo? Yo guys, what's up? I'm Romy and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you're staying safe in this time of crisis and isolation. I've personally been spending a lot of time by myself reflecting and thinking about the kind of changes that I want to bring into my life and I thought this would be the perfect timing to start a journey towards minimalism which is something that I've been thinking about for a really really long time and I wanted to bring you guys along with me. Here's what my room used to look like before I made any changes. I actually did a room tour video a few weeks ago so I highly recommend you check it out so that you can get a better idea of all the clutter that I have hidden in my closet, in my drawers. I'm gonna try to get rid of all of that today. So yeah, sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy. At that point, I basically got everything out of my closet, my boxes, um, my drawers, everything that was hidden away in my furniture, I got everything out and fuck, I'm amazed by how much stuff I actually own, which I never realized before because I just couldn't see it. So the mattress that I used to have was given to me by a friend but it was really uncomfortable because it was way too soft and it gave me uh, back pain. So if you experience back pain, it may be because of your mattress if it's too soft or if it's too hard. Some people experience that because of hard mattresses but I know that for me I needed more support. I really wanted a mattress that was a lot thinner and that I could put on the floor um, to make me feel more grounded. I would personally love to have a Japanese futon because, well, they're super aesthetic, but also they're really, really good for your back uh, and you can fold them during the day. But because Montreal is not my home base and I'm going to move very soon, I didn't want to invest in one, but it's really one of my dreams to have a futon one day. <laughs> It's been two days since I started this minimalist journey and I think I made a lot of progress like there's so much that I removed but now I feel like it's I'm not finished at all and there's still things that I need to remove so yeah it's hard to let go but we're gonna try to do that so yeah this is round two. <gasps> oh my god! Oh, I'm too what the fuck? Why are there one photo of me?
semua sapas. So, my second round is finally done. Uh, it was hard. I cried a little bit. <laughs> I'm joking, I didn't. But here's everything that I'm donating or throwing away or selling. So yeah, I'm gonna clean this all up and clean my room and show you guys the finished look. I don't know how, but I managed to fit all of my clothes in this closet for every single season. <laughs> Uh, and in this box, I just keep a few things. So I've got an extra towel, two sweaters that belong to my grandmother that I'm gonna give her back, two shirts for my friends, and this book that I'm keeping for my mom. And I also keep some bags for traveling, for example, a ukulele bag, tripod bag, and also this wig. <laughs> Everything that was in this basket right here, I managed to organize and put in here. So I've got my hair dyes, my swimsuits, my nail polish and piercings, uh, my contact lenses, band-aids, supplements, and my multi-purpose castile soap, as well as my hair dryer. In this bag, I keep empty containers for when I travel and just other random things. In here I have some chargers, an iPhone screen protector, and most importantly, a face mask. I also managed to fit all of my socks, underwear, workout clothes in here, which I'm like amazed. It's pretty tight, but it fits. To keep myself busy during quarantine, I decided to plant some seeds and they've grown so much in just less than a week. I'm so happy. A friend of mine actually inspired me to hang my favorite pieces of clothing on my wall and it really frees up some space in my closet. I thought that was a really great idea. So if you're running out of space, this is something that you could consider and it looks really aesthetic, I think. And after decluttering, these are all the books that I haven't finished reading. So my challenge for this month in isolation is to actually finish reading all of them. This way I can free up some more space. been three days and I'm finally finished with minimalizing my room. I'm honestly really really happy with the result and all the efforts that I made to throw away all that stuff that was completely unnecessary in my life. I have to admit when I first sat here on this bed couch and I saw how empty my room was, I felt empty. But that's exactly the problem with materialism in general. It's like you feel empty inside, so you keep buying and buying and buying things. In the long run, it, it doesn't make you feel whole. It has to come from within and not external things. And as someone that absolutely loves shopping and grew up shopping a lot, ugh, I ended up with so much stuff and it never made me happier. I would definitely love to be the kind of person that only owns like 20 items uh, and can fit everything into one big backpack. And I realized that I felt so attached to what I own because I'm used to wearing them. Like, I don't feel less myself because I don't have these pieces of jewelry or these pieces of clothing. Of course, appearance helps, 
clothing, jewelry, hair color, tattoos, piercings, whatever, it helps represent who you are and to show that image. But it's also your actions and your behavior, your values and all of that that make up who you are. All of that to say that I highly respect minimalists who own zero furniture and can put everything in their backpack. This is only the beginning of my journey and I'm hoping that one day I'll be able to get to that. So if you made it to the end of the video, thank you guys so much for watching until the end. If you're also thinking of becoming a minimalist, please let me know in the comments and where you are in your journey. And if you want to see more videos, again, check out these two videos right here and subscribe to my channel for weekly content. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!